Welcome into the ESPN FC studios. I'm Dan Thomas, Ali Moreno, Stevie Nicol alongside me. Julianne Laurent also joining the conversation as well. As reports, Stevie, are saying that Ten Hag didn't want anything to do with Ralph Rannick, didn't want him at the club. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Absolutely. Why would, why would anybody going into a club where it's all about you producing a, not just a team, but a team that plays attractive football and wins games, why are you going to have baggage there from, from previous disasters. Bad baggage as well, isn't and it? It's yeah. not even good, good baggage. Yeah. Also from Tegs, if I'm Ten Hag, I'm thinking, right, this is an incredible job that I've got here, yeah. and I want to do it right. But you know what? If I don't do it right, I want to get it wrong in my terms. I don't want to be going somewhere and having to work with somebody who I don't really know you can't really, you don't know whether you can trust the person. You know, he's obviously, Ranić's more in touch with the board up the stairs. Is he going to be going running to them? So, no, Ten Hag, you do it your way. Yeah. If you succeed, then you got all the plaudits. But if you get it wrong, then at least you can look yourself in the mirror and say, you know what, I try to do it my way. Yeah, at least afford me the opportunity to have a clean sheet. <laughs> and that's exactly it. If we're going to start over, then let's start over. Not with somebody over your shoulder like, hey, you sure about that decision? <laughs> Is that, yeah, you think, ah, maybe we do something differently here? No. If you're going to make the decisions, then you are the one yep. who makes those decisions. And you are the one who's going to say, this is how we're going to play, these are the pieces that we need, and these are the pieces that we're going to utilize. And this is how we're going to use them. You don't want somebody who's trying to prove himself as well, because Ragnar would have been hanging, out, hanging around knowing that he had failed, and he, he has to prove his value within the organization. Like, well, look at what I did. Yeah. Look what I suggested to Ten Hag. For me, it made absolutely all the sense in the world for him to say, you know what, this is my team. Yep. I'm going to make the decision, and this is what we're going to do. I don't need anybody else hanging around. Seems like a no-brainer, Jules. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I don't, I don't even think Rangnick wanted to work with Ten Hag either. I think the idea <laughs> of the six-month contract as an interim coach and then the two years as a consultancy role, if you want, was just to spread the money over two and a half years. Uh, and that was it. I think it was just a way of paying him what what he wanted and what they were ready to pay him and that's it. I don't think there was there was anything much more than that and certainly there was no more conversation about hey what am I going to do next season? There was none of that so I don't think Rangnick even thought I'm going to work still at the club and advise whoever is the manager. He's focused on Austria now and the fact that he took that job shows you that really that consult consultancy job was not really in the front of his mind so I think it was just a way of spreading the wages that they were going to pay him, I don't think at any point he was really being that sort of figure above the manager, whoever that was, Ten Hag or, or anybody else. It was, it was just more purely financial and that was it. So I think in the end, everybody would be happy with this. United, of course, have been quiet so far in the summer transfer window, but to keep up to date with all the latest news, be sure to join us on ESPN FC. We're, of course, with you every single day throughout the off-season. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.